today. Appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so, what was it like when you, uh, I was at the CEAs when you won the, the CEA award. I mean, that, that had it been kind of cool. I mean, yeah, that felt great. <laughs> um, you know, I wasn't, uh, I, I wasn't really expecting, you know, I wasn't really expecting it. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, was, it felt really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, that was the first time I'd been in the Emory Theater, too, so that was, I hope it stays going. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'd never been, I didn't even know, as, as often as I'd been to the Coffee Emporium, which is right around the corner. Wow. Yeah, exactly. I never even knew it was there. Yeah. And like, we were, you know, I, my friend and I went with me, we, we drove up and we're like, wait, this is, this is right where we are all the time. You know, how do we not even know this existed? And yeah, it would be, it would be great if that, if that uh, venue could get up and running. But it doesn't have like a traditional theater facade. I mean, right. it's so you don't think about what's inside so um, so how did you uh, get hooked up with uh, Sub Pop I mean because that's kind of a, a big deal well I sent them a demo oh okay and um, they listened to it that's simple really that's simple you might, yeah. they, they must got to you on the right day and... I guess so and they, <laughs> uh, you know they're, I think all kinds of things had to align for that to actually work out but um, <laughs> incredibly lucky but, but you know we I've tried to make the most of it, yeah. So have you released a record with them yet? Yes. Okay. The first record came out in October. Oh, okay, cool. And uh, I'm working on uh, another release right now, which kind of an unscheduled one um, with a few other artists from Kentucky okay. about mountaintop removal mining. Oh, okay. And uh, we're just trying to raise awareness. And it's looking like Sub Pop is going to put that one out, too. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to play a song? Sure. Cool. Yeah, this is, um, I'll play you, this song's called Straight Age. It's a title track from my album. Cool. So much what I pushed out once. Returned after all these months. To go where you have been. To be where you are again. Come be close and be rested. So I understand you're going on a tour with uh, Ben Soli fairly soon, next month, is it? Yes, um, our, first, our first date is on the 17th of February um, in Indianapolis, and then the next night on the 18th we'll be here. We'll be at, I think we're playing 
think it's the Mad Hatter. Mad Hatter. In Covington. Yeah. yeah. I've never, this, is, this is sounds so silly, but I've never actually been there. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't go, like, like I said earlier, I'm a homebody. I don't really go out all that much, but um, I originally it was going to be at the Southgate House and there was some like, a scheduling conflict. Oh, okay. Because that's kind of home base, I think, of the Southgate oh, House. It's one great. of my favorite places. Yeah. Such a great venue. <laughs> That's where you had your CD release at, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Okay. I've played there. I've, if I've played, I've played there probably half the times I've ever played anywhere. <laughs> really, I mean, I feel, I feel like I'm there all the time. But uh, it's, you know, I, yeah. I really like it there. So. It's just the the historic, yeah, old house. I mean, I love the 150 year old hardwood floors, and so uh, it's got a lot of character. No, absolutely. You can't, can't fake that. <laughs> um, so, uh, how long have you been playing guitar? Like, when did you first pick it up? Um, I've been playing for probably uh, six years. Okay. So, not, not a ton of time, but... Um, Seems like you've accomplished quite a lot in, in, the, in up to the six years, so it's... Yeah, I mean, uh, maybe, maybe a little bit, maybe seven years. Yeah. Um, but really seriously playing it probably only for yeah, you know, I mean, like actually practicing every day and, and working on it. Um, <laughs> but, uh, uh, what was did something inspire you to start playing, or was it a song you heard, or? Was uh, it? You know, that's a good question. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think um, I just kind of uh, I was at a friend's house, and they had this old. Um, beat up parlor guitar, only had four strings on it, <laughs> and, um, uh, you know, I just said, you know what, I bet, I bet I could play that, like, let me, can I borrow that, <laughs> like, <laughs> can I see if I can get that, you know, get the thing up and running, and I'd really like to see if I could play it, you know, Yeah. try to learn it, and, uh, that's, you know, it's not a particularly fantastic story, but that's oh. pretty much how it happened. <laughs> That's okay. My dad gave me his old guitar, so I have that, and cool. I'm gonna be picking it up. So eventually, you know, it's but, uh, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, I know. I love it. Um, what what kind of music do you listen to right now? Who are some of the? I listen to a lot of um, a lot of old folk music. Yeah. Um, I love to find like you were. We were talking about you know your Victrola upstairs. Oh yeah. Uh, you know old 78s and and there are some really wonderful companies who are finding all those old records and restoring them, oh. and releasing them on CD. Like there's a company out of Atlanta called Dust to Digital, mm. and they they have this treasure trove of releases from the teens, 20s, 30s, pop music, folk music. Jazz. That's that's the mm. stuff that I really love. That old stuff. But I also listen to a lot of like Charles Mingus. And oh, okay. Bashti Bunyan and Lightning Hopkins and folks like that. I would love just to find like a, a Robert Johnson record in an old box somewhere. That would be. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that would be amazing. There's probably a few out there, I guess. <laughs> there's got to be. I mean, there's there's got to be somewhere, you know. Somebody's attic sitting there collecting mm -hmm. dust, but um, that would be truly amazing. Um, so, did you mentioned earlier were you working on a, a recording with Ben Soli? Yeah, Ben and I are um, are in the right in the middle of making a, a, a record uh, about mountaintop removal mining, mm -hmm. and, uh, trying to raise awareness about it, and, and uh, hoping to get it banned actually, because um, it's really destructive and, and really ugly for yeah. not only just the environment but also for the people who live around it and, and it's something you can't really undo you know it's not like it's not like nature can uh, you know realistically reclaim that land yeah. I mean it's just a wasteland for as long as I mean as far as human time goes yeah, exactly. as far as we if you're talking about deep time and you know geologic time it's <laughs> None of it, none of it makes any difference. But I mean, yeah. if if you're talking about um, what it does to communities and what it does to uh, 
wildlife habitat. It's just just devastating. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we are uh, we've been in the studio for a few days, and most of it's finished. Um, it's being produced by Jim James, um, and uh, we're, we're really excited about it. Hopefully, it'll be out in the summer. Where are you uh, recording it at? In well, so far we've we've made some recordings in Louisville, but oh, okay. I'm not sure where we're going to make the second batch. It kind of depends on where we can all convene. You yeah. know, we all have such <laughs> crazy schedules that it's, <laughs> it's hard to get everybody together. So wherever that might be is where it'll be. Yeah, exactly. Um, do you like to play a couple more songs? Sure. Cool. Why don't I play one from uh, from that new record? Oh, absolutely. This is one that I've before just at home. Uh, it's called Fly Rock Blues. Well, Fly Rock Blues got me down. Song. I like that as well. Um, how long did it take you to record your your record? Yeah. Uh, we well, you know, it um, we did it in sort of three different runs. Oh, um, okay. Actual days in the studio, probably about two weeks. That's not bad, actually. But that was stretched out over <laughs> probably let's see, three, four, five, six, three, six, six weeks. I mean, you know, if you count mixing and you count yeah. uh, days off, you know, all that stuff in between, um, maybe it was more like three weeks, actually. 
but it wasn't a a really long long session. Not like a Chinese democracy. Right. Took seventeen <laughs> years to record. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. From the sound of it, it looks sounds like they could have probably spent a little more time. <laughs> frankly. <laughs> I honestly haven't even heard it. That's how much I. <laughs> but uh. Well, I don't know. That's a whole nother Maybe story. Maybe that was too harsh. <laughs> Maybe that was too harsh, but you know. <laughs> um, so, uh, do you have another song for us? Sure, cool. yeah, I like to do. Just keep it in low key mode if you don't mind. <laughs> but not a problem. All right, this one's called uh, Every Color and Kind. <laughs> So, uh, where can uh, people go see uh, all the, your tour information and all that stuff? Um, MySpace or DanielMartinMoore.com. Cool. Or um, I think it's all on Sub Pops. It is, yes, it is. Yeah, I did Sub see Pops your page on there too. So. Um, that, those would be the best, best places. Very cool. Well, thank you very much for coming. My pleasure. Thanks for inviting me. Not a problem.